What's up guys, Minibean75 here. Today, I am back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This, guys, is going to be the Survivor Series 1998 Arena. This event took place at the, at the time it was called the Keel Center, or the Keel, uh, yeah, the Keel Center, and now it's called the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, uh, Missouri. The reason I made this one a little bit sooner than what I had expected is because this was a request by Dylan Holmes to make this arena because of the fact that he is from the area. So he's like, hey, will you make the Scott Trade Center? And I was like, absolutely. So um, I'm eventually going to be making all the events that have taken place in this arena so far. Um, I'm just starting with, with all the um, WWE, WWE arenas. I started, I'm starting with the 1998 and moving forward because anything before that... They're all pretty basic and kind of plain, so I want to do the ones that are actually a little bit more exciting to make and look at. So I decided to go with 1998 forward. I may decide to do the ones before that. I'm not sure, but um, so starting with 1998, Survivor Series was the first one in this uh, arena. So let's get into it, guys. Here is the arena. I think it turned out absolutely awesome. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about it. It's Pretty similar to what we have seen for most arenas. I mean, most arenas nowadays are very similar. I mean, you've got your big open area in the center, and then you've got your seating that goes up. Generally, it's just the seating areas that they change a little bit. The thing that caught my eye with this one that was different was just because they have this tiny little section up above here. I don't know if this is like a special, more like a VIP section, or what exactly this is, because this section here is what I would typically call your nosebleed, so these are your cheapo seats. Typically, there's nothing above that, so I'm not sure why there's a little section up above that. If anybody's ever been to this um, arena, if you want to comment down below and let me know what that upper section is, I'm just curious. I honestly have no idea. I'm probably 100% wrong. It's probably just even cheaper seats. I don't know, but definitely comment down below and just let me know what that's supposed to be. Now, here we can look at the actual stage itself. This one, the stage was pretty basic, but yet it was pretty iconic at the same time. They didn't have like a whole big stage set up. It was just set up with, um, you know, black carpeting along the floor. And then, you know, like, like I said, no big stage. Then it had the, um, the iconic skull with the round scaffolding up around it. And then the, uh, these, uh, I'm not sure exactly what to call them. They're just like little scaffolding pillars, I guess, that they had on each side. I think in the actual event they had six, three on each side. I did... Uh, two on each side just because of space wise and I didn't want it to look too crammed but then I did put the sections in here that were on fire they had like little little uh not bowls they almost looked like saucepans I guess but like little torches that they basically had set up that were on fire so it just kind of added to the effect of it and it looked pretty cool but yeah so here's the stage guys I think it turned out awesome definitely curious to know what you guys think about it here is the uh ring area and i believe actually in an earlier video i said that the this setup for the ringside area was like 1999 and obviously i was wrong because this is nine late 98 and this is already the setup so i don't know when this um the way that they or the i don't i'm not sure when this um ringside area setup uh started if you guys know that comment that down below so i can um know because i honestly don't know i thought it was like 99 to 2000 and obviously i was a little off but yeah, so here's the ringside area. Pretty basic to what we're used to seeing. Um, here we've got the ring lighting area. This is the same setup that they used for the older um, events where they had basically it was like a square, but then it was like it kind of is like a version of an octagon, I guess, because they had the four sections here and then they had a couple cross sections on the corners where they'd have the lighting on these four sides. And then basically these sides, they would have a banner hanging with, you know, the logo of whatever event it was. So for this one, it was Survivor Series. But anyway, I'm just mumbling here. But yeah, so here is what the arena looks like, guys. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about it. I think it turned out absolutely awesome. Um, let's do the intro pyro for the show. And here, as you guys can see, the intro pyro was kind of just a cluster of different colored fireworks. Um... I know they had red, they had green, they had yellow, they had blue, they had white. I think that's all the colors that I got in here, but yeah. It's kind of just a cluster. This is when early early in the you know WWE, so like the 90s, they still had the fireworks shooting off from inside the ring, and then they had the fireworks shooting off from the floor over here. So nothing crazy like we see nowadays. I mean, nowadays we see fireworks shooting from the ceiling down. So, I mean, you see a bunch of different stuff, but... So yeah, guys, here's the arena. I think it turned out awesome. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about it. If you liked it, definitely hit that like button. I most definitely appreciate it. 
um, hit that or you know leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what um, stadium or stadium or arena you want to see me make next. Let me know if there's any other videos you want to see me make next. And other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.